in this lecture we are going to discuss what is an operating system and operating system as a resource manager this is my brief introduction my name is muhammad asif i am a phd resource scholar in information technology i have done my masters in information technology i have worked as an assistant professor in the department of higher education i have qualified ugc national eligibility test in the subject of computer science let us start our today's lecture what is an operating system an operating system is a software we are having two types of softwares one is system software another is application software an application software is a software that provides users the facility to do user oriented tasks like user can insert a text user can listen an audio user can watch a video or user can surf the internet these are all uh, application software examples of application software are browser or ms word ms powerpoint or other application software we are having different application softwares available with us a system software is a software that provides users uh, that provides a platform for other software so an operating system is a system software that manages and controls the hardware and software resources of a computer by this sentence by this sentence we can conclude that operating system is a resource manager which manages and controls uh, resources of our computer system it acts as an intermediary between the user and the computer's hardware so operating system plays an important role for a user such that user can interact with the computer system okay it provides an interface to the user such that a user can interact with the computer system okay so we have seen that operating system is a resource manager now what type of resources operating system is managing and how operating system is actually managing these resources and which are the important resources in our computer system that have to be managed by this operating system okay let us discuss operating system resource management involves the allocation and utilization of computers hardware resources to ensure that these resources are used and used efficiently and effectively we all want that all the resources available with uh, us in our computer system are used in such a way that these resources are used efficiently and effectively okay the primary resources managed by the operating system are so what are the resources that are managed by this operating system or cpu memory io devices and various other resources okay if we talk about cpu okay the cpu is an uh, important resource we all know cpu is a central processing uh, unit that is responsible for executing instructions okay that is responsible for executing instructions the operating system manages the allocation of cpu time to different programs and ensures that each program gets a fair share of cpu time c whenever there are multiple processes in our main memory that are uh, currently in our main memory and are waiting for their execution okay so now uh, we are having a challenge that to which process the cpu is allocated okay the cpu is allocated whenever a process needs a cpu time or whenever a process needs cpu for its execution it is the job of operating system to allocate cpu to this process and when this process completes its execution now it, uh, there is also uh, job of operating system to preempt cpu from this currently uh, executing process which has completed its execution and allocate this cpu to another process that needs cpu for its execution okay so this is done by uh, different uh, algorithms okay uh, like we are having cpu scheduling algorithms uh, that decides to which process the cpu will be allocated okay we will discuss in our uh, coming lectures another important resource after uh, cpu is memory okay memory is also an important resource that is managed by this operating system the operating system manages the computer's memory allocating memory to the programs and ensuring that programs do not interfere with each other 
so this limited amount of ram okay or memory is allocated to the programmers in such a way that the programmers do not interfere with each other's memory portion okay the uh, another resource we are having after memory is input output devices input output devices available with us are also important resources in our computer system that are to be managed by this operating system we are having different input output devices like discs printers okay the operating system provides a mechanism to allow these devices to communicate with the computer system first of all the operating system allows these devices like printer like discs such that these devices are accessible in our computer system okay and ensures that multiple programmers can use these devices without interfering with each other see different programs can request for a printer or different programs can request for input output device okay now it is the responsibility of operating system to allocate these input output device to the processes such that no process can interfere with another process okay as uh, like uh, the resources the input output device are allocated uh, in such a way that these input output device are uh, user efficiently and effectively okay file system the operating system manages the computer's file system okay in our computer system we are having a file system by which we can organize and store our files now the job of operating system is to provide a facility for creating okay we can create our file we can modify our file and we can delete our file and directory this is the job of the operating system to provide us facility for doing such jobs like create a file modify a file and delete a file all this is done with operating system now to manage these resources the operating system uses various techniques like scheduling algorithm as we have already discussed like we are having different scheduling algorithms like we are having round robin scheduling algorithm we are having shortest job first scheduling algorithm and we are having other uh, preemptive and non preemptive scheduling algorithm we will discuss in detail what are preemptive algorithms and what are types of preemptive algorithms what are non preemptive algorithms what are types of non preemptive algorithm what is round robin scheduling algorithm when we will discuss the cpu scheduling algorithm and this was about how the cpu is uh, allocated to the processes and how the memory is, is managed the memory uh, different memory management techniques are used uh, in our computer system such that this important resource or we can say this limited amount of memory is shared between processes okay and uh, we are also having device drivers okay that are used by this operating system such that these io devices are controlled i hope uh, you have enjoyed this lecture we'll see you in uh, another lecture thank you for being here uh, see you in another lecture till then take care city safe